I thought of the idea, why not have a look at the Ballantine poems that John and I have written to each other? Now, I should say that in the beginning, it was John who began writing a Ballantine poem to me, because he is the poet. And then later on, I then began to do little dog rolls and give them to him. And I think it's quite interesting, really. So you're getting a kind of a sense of these two quite different personalities, and yet is that they work together and they communicate. I think Evelyn was saying it's a kind of stop taking our relationship once a year. So the first one that I have here, and this was written in 1959. Oh. You are my little pineapple. Oh, you are my sweetest fruit, soft and warm, but all surrounded by so cruel a spinny coat. I took a knife and cut the prickles, watched your golden heart bleed fast. And then I turned and wandered from you saying, all that is gone and past. But on my hand, a sore place pained me, till I had to turn once more, bathe it in the golden juices, which like rivers from you did pour. Valentine's Day, you and I who have stumbled together 39 years in every weather, hand in hand, through shifting sand, fog and bog, and distant barks of dog, uncertain humps of bright green land, water and clumps of flowering thorn and water again. We have learned our journey of love, not without uncertain pain, by the light now, in front, now behind, now above, of a mischievous will-o'-the-wisp. It quivers, turns up tricks, it scurries and scuttles about. Yes, it has never gone out. It seems to tell the truth. It does not try to lie. It plays its cobweb flashes on the naked, twitching eye. Valentine for Margareta. This is what the Japanese call a tanker, which is two lines longer than a haiku and at 31 syllables. I looked it up in the encyclopedia. Valentine for Margareta. 6.30 alarm, early, early, bust you off. In the dark, and I am glad. Ah, yes, but glad only that soon, so soon, you'll be back. A Valentine for my dearest Margareta. She said, See a doctor, you are overheated. I should have said, of course I am. Said Valentine's Day tomorrow and 40 years on to this firecracker voyage. There is as yet no end, no slowing down. Madam, I should have said, watch my blood steam. What doctor can suppress the flame of love? What eagle can out trick the swooping dove? Valentine for Margareta. When I met you near 50 years ago, to think about it now, it is as though my car had broken down on the long Damascus road. Not that I had a car, even knew how to drive. I'd waited at a bus stop, but no bus would arrive. It grew dark, it grew wet, it grew cold, and then there you were. Hey, hey, do you want a lift? No. You can't have one with me unless you shift all of a sudden on two flat feet, your sulky weight. That's it from right to left and drop your bag or clear the rubbish out. And so I did in all that dreadful weather, laughing and snapping, contradicting one another. For 50 years against all odds, we traveled on together. If this is not true love, the Lady Venus's tricksy game, then another goddess may be, but one with the same name. Valentine for Margareta, five haikus. St. Bridget Springs saw 
your rhyme defy the warport. Saw me detox cramped, detox gone, gut slimmed, blood at every hour still pumps. You tell me, not yet. Not enough, go on. You call me a fat old man. Old I am, fat not. I tell you, I'm thin. If you love me as I love you, you will see me thin, or at least thinner. Today of all days, love's lie must not be shown up. Please. Valentine for Margareta. First warm week since when... Now, there are two poems that we wrote, and this is in 2009, when John had cancer and I had cancer at the same time. So these are kind of two cancer poems. First warm week since when? My unsought visitors called to thieves in your blood, cries. No, don't take her until I'm set and ready to drag this one too. Until I have him solid, head to toe, concreted love to heave you with him. Much better, they think, that two souls should make one load. Economical? Yes, I think so too. Don't you? Much better, I think, that neither survive. Both go together, no long sorrow for either. Eyes, lips, hearts, we go. Then Valentine's Day for Margareta. Not white rice, but brown. Yet you bring white, all spilling out. Oh, generous love. Oh, generous love. Among your sweets for Shannon, gifts for me are kept. Kept and close hidden till your valentine verses slyly reveal them, softly display them, offer and spill them broadcast like piles of white rice. So those are John's valentines, and now these are mine. So this is in Gateshead. So mine go from 91 to 2011, and the ones I've got from John go from 1959 to 2010. So I was in Gateshead, and this is during the Kuwait War. Here in Gateshead, a mafia of maggots let loose to parasite the living and turn them into bait for war. Your envelope with your love-feeling poem is put through my letterbox, drops in the cluttered dark mess inside the door, on top of a thousand bills, ads, free newspapers and letters, all for someone else who once dropped in to pass the time. Viv and Harold live downstairs, an old couple who lived through three world wars. I want to hang them all, says Harold, with Viv behind, square and bold with mottled face. But your poem catches my heart, pushes emotions up through my eyes, so water drops like waterfalls. The sun, cold and hot, outside catches a welling tear and turns it into a thousand prisms of color. Valentine for John. And noise have might have been killed by the IRA at work, and Finn might kill himself at home because of no work. You and I, on St. Valentine's Day, eat our supper. You make soothing noises because the valentine cake is lopsided. I wanted a perfect heart. Instead, there is blobs of cherries like splattered blood on mud. I need your love to shield me from ugly dreams that flare and wake me up as sharply as any homemade bomb with fertilizer and sugar. The cake, mud and sugar, our love both bitter and sweet, light and dark. Say la vie, say la mort. So this is Valentine, still there, my patient and enduring lover, ever hovering to catch and throw back the broken pieces of my life, mended, patched and glued, renewed as diamonds, dancing, in the morning dew. To John from MDA. 
When I ask you to dance, of course you'll say, I want to read the newspaper, only to make me work harder in getting you to dance. After all, there is nothing like reluctance to make the partner work harder to please. 51 years old, 51 years sharing your bed, if I ask for your food, it's as if I have been somewhat nude, a spasm crosses your face, and a hand goes out to grasp the plate, as if stray food is more sacred than your bed. It is your space. Well, after 51 years, I can hardly begin to shed tears, but enjoy what I can with my very peculiar man, who is not so fat, but not yet as thin as a match, two and a half more stones of flesh than I vowed to cherish all my life. Maybe it's a bonus. When the nights are cold, I'm cherished in your arms and your fold. So this is my cancer poem. The squatters are here to stay, embedded cosily in their inimitable way. Do we care? For we have so much to share, our love, energy, talents, which are strong enough to drive away the lustful, power-hungry bankers and multinationals into oblivion and their resources war turn into yesterday's nightmare. If we hold on to each other tight, when the bugle blows, we won't take fright, for we will know it's time to go. Love will be for all time, each and others, dearest Valentine. Now here's a Valentine. Ah, Mr. A, good day, good day, a mighty fine day for you to play, picking and tweaking your words, a fine pastime in your old age. Culture belongs to you and nature to me, the French have said. The placenta is yours, the French have said, to stop me from killing your sperm. Well, I've made a fine job of the killing machine. Four for you, four for me. Equality all round. That is sound. But you, Mr. A, where are you in this culture nature thing? It knocks the white goddess into the bin. Be mindful of your words to keep the faith of Valentine's Day. A, Mr. A. To John who complains, I never write no nice poems to him. If you died, I would have no past or future, only now. No dreams, no time. Conscious for only each second that passes as the earth spins with me on it without you.